All right, for this last video, I just wanna show you a couple other ways that you can export the work that you've done inside of Stager to some different components. Now, this is uh, something that I worked on in Substance Painter. This is actually, the model is a static splash. Like that's all, it's meant to be like a water splash from the asset library, but I downloaded it and I painted it to look kind of a, you know, uh, an aged bronze kind of a thing. I don't know, I was just having fun with it. So basically, you know, like I said in the last video, I can, you know, I can render this out as a, um, as an image that you bring into Photoshop and, and do some touch up work. But we're living in a new digital age. There may be the opportunity to export this in a couple different ways. So the first of which is you can go to file and you can go to export um, and you can export this entire scene. Uh, and basically what it allows you to do is export it as either an OBJ, uh, GLB, or a GLTF, which would allow you to bring it into uh, many different, you know, pretty much any other 3D application. Um, another method, another thing you can do to export this is you can use this little um, share button up here at the top. And what this is, is, and I can just call this sculpture and click create public link. What this will do is this will prepare this file to be viewed on the web. So this is really great. So you don't, you won't, you know, like somebody won't need a substance account to look at it. Uh, this is really great if you, if you just want to get some quick feedback from somebody. Um, basically it takes this, packages it up, puts it in a file format, it creates a, um, uh, you, can, you can create a URL for it so that uh, if when I go to view it on the web now, You can see I've got it here. And now again, like anybody can check this out. Um, I, you can swirl right it like I'm, I'm not doing anything with my left hand here. So even, so anybody can view it, scroll wheel in and out, middle mouse, oh wait, how do you, oh yeah, the right mouse button will go, uh, will, uh, will uh, allow you to paint around it. And the nice thing about this is that anybody can go in here now and make comments. You can say, well, it looks great, best ever. Um, and then you can leave that on there and then hope, oh, yeah, you can continue as a guest or you can sign it with your Adobe account so you can attach your name to it. Um, so that's that's a really handy feature and I could see that definitely coming up more in the future. Um, and then the other one is that Adobe has their own AR uh, tool called Aero right now. So basically what you can do is you can file, uh, you know, by the way, that, that share button, I could also share 3D scene for review, it's the same thing or I can export it, uh, I can export the selected for Aero, which I will show you in just a, kick, just a second. So basically Aero is an app that you can, uh, this desktop version, basically you have it on your phone. This will send this 3D model to my phone and I'll upload a video now and talk over it. Uh, it basically, it allows me the capability of scanning the room that I'm in or the space that I'm in, and then you can place your 3D object in it. And then you can basically just walk around and interact with it. You get either pin, the I believe I'm not like the most experienced arrow user in the world. You can either have anybody you know like use it wherever they want, or you can pin it to a location if you wanted to create like a unique AR experience. It's still in development for Adobe, but um, it's a pretty cool technology that's showing like the next steps of, of 3D modeling and all those capabilities as well. All right, that's it. So I say this in all the comments, but please, 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 if you want to see, if you have any questions about Stager, leave them in the comments below. Uh, you can find my contact info, all my social media links in the, in the YouTube comments. So definitely reach out to me. Let me know what you want to see. There'll be more videos like this coming. Things for painter, sampler, uh, a designer, modeler. Hopefully I hit all the apps in the coming uh, in the coming days, weeks, months, years going forward as I plan to keep releasing these as well as my end-to-end -end workflows. You'll see a lot of videos where I take the project from start to finish using multiple of the apps as well. So thank you very much for joining me. And again, I look forward to hearing your feedback.